Hey, it's Dr. Nasi, and this is the interesting case of The Wizinator. As a channel that does focus a lot of attention on drug testing procedures, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at one of the more peculiar devices that has ever come along aimed at cheating drug tests. If you clicked on this video, you've probably already heard of a product called The Wizinator. If not, here is a brief description. The Wizinator was a product from the late 90s and early 2000s that was marketed as a simple yet effective way to beat a drug test. In short, this product came with a pouch to hold synthetic or natural but clean urine. This pouch would then be strapped close to the wearer's body to keep it warm. As we know, drug tests are all about the specimen temperature. Then a tube would be connected from the pouch to a prosthetic penis that the individual could whip out when it was time to give a sample. This device was specifically aimed and more importantly marketed at beating direct observation drug tests where an individual would actually be watching you provide a sample. The product really gained popularity or notoriety in 2005 when former Minnesota Vikings running back Ontario Smith was caught with a Wizinator at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. Smith had previously been kicked off of the University of Tennessee football team for marijuana use and had had two substance abuse violations in the NFL. At this time, simply having the device was not an NFL violation. But wouldn't you know that shortly after having the Wizinator confiscated, Smith would again test positive for marijuana and this effectively ended Smith's NFL career. The Wizinator was instantly referenced on nearly every sports talk show in the following weeks, leading to an explosion in its popularity in pop culture. So was the Wizinator effective? Did it help the wearer beat direct observation drug tests? The federal government sure seemed to think so. Fast forward to 2008, after years of investigating, quote, methods of subversion of drug testing programs, end quote, the United States government had had enough of private companies trying to dupe their policies. The owners of the company that manufactured the Wizinator, Puck Technologies, were arrested. In 2010, Dennis Catalano and Gerald Willis, the owners, were convicted of conspiracy to defraud the United States government in connection with the sales of the Wizinator. In April of 2010, Gerald Willis was sentenced to six months in federal prison, while Dennis Catalano was given three years probation. As part of the deal, Puck Technologies also had to surrender $300,000 in cash. So that is the interesting story of the infamous Wizinator. But wait, it gets even stranger. Shortly after Willis and Catalano were sentenced and Puck Technologies was disbanded, a company called Alternative Lifestyles Systems swooped in and took over the Wizinator trademark, only in America. The brand still exists to this day. The only difference, as I can tell, is in how the product is marketed to the consumers. At Wizinator.com, gone are any references to drug testing or using the product for any illegal purpose. Although a quick YouTube search will bring up countless videos on how to use the current product to beat a drug test. The Wizinator is now promoted as, get this, a sex toy. The product is marketed specifically and I quote from their website, to use for wet sex and pranks. What is interesting is that this use is mentioned almost at the end of an extremely lengthy description of the product. The initial paragraph in the description is all about describing how discreet the product is and how it can be worn comfortably for extended periods of time. As of now, it seems that this simple change in marketing strategy, 
without any fundamental change in product design is enough to satisfy the U.S. government as no additional charges have been filed against the current iteration of the Wizinator.